guys, it's Kennedy, and for today's video, I am doing a little haul for you guys. I know I do tons of hauls on my channel, but I go shopping a lot, okay? And sometimes I'm stumped for ideas, so just combining the two together just means that I've got another haul for you guys today. I just picked up a few things from Sephora and H&M, and I wanted to show you, so let's get started. So from Sephora, I got a few things, and the first two are repurchases of things that I use all the time and I've just run out of, so they are these two guys right here. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation in the shade Y215, and I love this stuff. I recently started using it again and fell in love with it again and then I didn't notice that I was like all out of it so I had to pick up another one and then the other guy that I am buying constantly is the NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade light to vanilla and when I'm feeling and when I'm feeling really lazy I will just use that concealer all over my face and uh, just skip foundation completely and I just love it so I go through that thing the most out of like any product in my whole makeup collection. I just love it. I've heard a lot of people talking about the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I've been wanting to try it but I didn't feel the need to buy the full size one without being able to try it first because it's like 30 something dollars. So I got the little travel size one which was still I think around like 15 but it's not as much product so it's a nice like tester size um, even though it is still expensive I can see if I like it and if I really do like fall in love with it I can go back and purchase the full size once I'm done this but if I don't like this one then I have less to use up because I don't want to waste that money but I've used it just for a couple days already and I like it but I will see with like prolonged use you know how how it wears and things like that um, I haven't tried using it without curling my lashes because I know that's something like the brush is supposed to help like curl and lift your lashes. Haven't tried it like that yet, but so far I like it. And the last thing I got from Sephora is this little box set right here. This is from Smashbox and this is the primer must-haves set. So it retails for $63, but I got it for $30, which is awesome. And so in it, it has the Smash Smashbox, cannot pronounce that brand. Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and this is the Pore Minimizing one, and I've always wanted to try one of the primers from Smashbox because I've heard wonderful things about them, but I just never have tried them. So I got this, and this is a full-size one here, and then I'd also been wanting to try the Photo Finish Primer Water, um, and like the full-size bottle is also like 30-something dollars, so this one you can buy separately too, this small one is like 15 but they came in the set together. Again, I've only used these guys for a couple days and so far I like it. I don't notice like a huge difference the, with the primer water so far, but I'm gonna use it more and like in different ways and I'll see how it works for me. And then with this primer, um, I noticed that the consistency is very similar to the Benefit Professional primer, if you guys have ever used that, so it's very silicone-y. Um, and with this, because it's pore minimizing, like yeah, I wanna minimize all the pores on my face, but I use this just on my nose area, and in the couple days that I've used it, I've really liked the way that it um, it allows my makeup to sit on my nose, like I do notice a difference, which is fantastic, so I'm definitely gonna keep using that. But those were all the things from Sephora. Now let's move on to H&M. So from H&M, I just got two things. They're both rompers and they're just on hangers. So maybe it'll be a little easier to show you. The first is this one here. And I just really like the pattern. It almost makes me think of like a salsa dancer. Just like the flowy little sleeves there. Just the scoop neck top and you can tighten the waist here um, just so it gives you more of a shape. I just think it's really cute. I know it's hard to show you the whole thing, but that's that. And then the other thing that I got is just this plain black romper and it's quite see-through actually. Well, not when you're wearing it, but when I hold it up, it looks very see-through. And yeah, it's just basic black romper, very inexpensive. And I figured I have like kimonos and things that would look super cute with the romper, as well as just like throwing a belt on and just, you know, rocking a simple black romper. I think it's just a nice thing to have in my closet. And the last two things I have are from American Eagle and I have one more romper. It is this one right here and it just has a little button up at the front but it's floral and it's just super cute. I don't know, you can like cinch in the waist with a tie here as well and I just, it looks so nice on and I just need to have more rompers in my collection. I don't have that many. So I had to get it. 
And then the last thing is this like tie dye, super comfy. It just feels like a t-shirt kind of material dress. And then the back has like these four strings here. I'm the worst at showing clothes, but it's so pretty. It reminds me of like Brandy Melville or something. It's just gorgeous. I just, I love shopping. I love clothes. Yeah. But that is it for my video today, guys. I know it was a quick, pretty random kind of haul, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It wouldn't be a Disney video if I didn't mention Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, you crazy guys. Sorry if you're sick of my Winnie the Pooh puns and jokes and things. I know they're all terrible, but like, I'm not sick of them yet, so they're gonna live on. Sorry, not sorry. So this is from Sh Smashbox, Smashbox.